look who's wearing uh, the City Connect uniforms. That's right. It's up to the starting pitcher, and Austin Gomber loves the threat, so he's in the City Connect uniform, joined by his teammates as the Rockies look to even up this uh, three-game set. Yeah. Miles Straw steps up, and the first pitch is hit back in the middle of the diamond. Brendan Rodgers there, quickly throws to C.J. Crone, one out. The guy whose velocity was up. There's a good curveball. It's lifted to a fairly deep left field, but Connor Joe is out there waiting, makes a catch. Two outs. That pitch worked out nicely for Gomber. He strikes out Oscar Gonzalez down and in. Ramirez left it first after a two out single. Connor Pilkington will be the Guardian starting pitcher. Uh, he's coming out, and you know, he's coming off a, a start in Oakland where he didn't have his command of his pitches, and he wants to get it back. He's going to need it in this ballpark. Trying to go the other way. It's shallow right field. In comes Oscar Gonzalez, and he runs it down. One away. Right field again. Oscar Gonzalez able to make the catch without an incident. Two down. Swings at the 3-1 pitch. And Miles Straw able to make the grab to retire the side. No score after one in Denver. Came over from the Cardinals in the Nolan Arenado deal. Owen oh, Miller booms the ball to deep left field. It is off the wall, and it goes by Connor Joe. And Owen's got himself an easy double to open up the second inning. That's his 17th double of the year. And he lines this ball to right, and positioned perfectly was Gritchick. Gritchick throwing across now, trying to get Owen Miller tagging up. Miller is able to arrive. And there's there another one, a base hit in the right field as Mercado delivers Owen Miller, and it's 1-0 Guardians. Mercado comes through with a two-out RBI single. I mean, it's a power game as this ball's ripped down the left field line. Needs to stay fair, and it will off the very top of the fence for Daza. He came within Spilly a couple of feet of hitting his first home run of the year. Like that, get down, it will. Daza will have to stop at the third. McMahon and Daza aboard. And this is rolled toward Pilkington. He throws off balance and throws it away. Rockies get a run. McMahon is going to get a green light. He's coming home. Throw in that direction. Won't get hit. And poor defense by Cleveland. And the Rockies have taken a 2-1 to one lead. Oh, he booms uh, he one. Got it. High in the air. Deep left field. Connor Joe will wave goodbye. Home run number one for Ahmed Rosario. And the Guardians come right back and tie the game at two. Coming into tonight, Ahmed Rosario was one of only a handful of players who had played at least 50 games hey, without hitting a home look run. Look at our dugout. Look at our dugout. Silent training. Ah, ah. <laughs> he doesn't care. That feels good. This ball pulled to left. This will be extra bases for Crow. Rogers to third, and he'll have to stop there. And CJ has another extra base hit. This gets away, and coming home safely is Rogers. That was a good read by Brendan. Really good dirt ball re read by Brendan. 3-2 Colorado. And Iglesias pops this one up. Shallow left center field. And it's dropped. Mercado dropped the baseball. And a gift run for the Rockies. 4-2 Colorado. And Josh Naylor right now just is not picking up Austin Gomber. The Rock team name. To Crone. Two outs. Crone makes the catch. That ends the inning. Mercado, a two out double left at second. Get a hit early. Here go the runners. Pitch is down. Throw goes into left field. They'll get a run. Rosario scores and Ramirez ends up at third and so now Denver with a little shabby defense. Right field. Oh, Back man. goes Gritchick. Makes the catch on to the warning track. Tagging and coming home with the 
tying run is Jose Ramirez. It's a 4-4 game here in the fifth. Dombert comes home. That pitch skied out to right. Going back. Grichik, he's at the wall. And it's off the wall. Rounding third and coming in to score. Oscar Gonzalez. Josh Naylor at second. With a two-out RBI double. And it puts the Guardians on top by a score of 5-4. to four. It's go. away. Here comes Rosario, and he will score. 6-4 Cleveland on the wild pitch. Now they get one on a wild pitch. Tack on another run for Cleveland. It's now 6-4 to four. Guardians. High contact. There's contact. Shallow center. This could drop. It will. Joe will score. It's a 6-5 to five game. Rogers to third. Daza comes through yet again with two strikes. Bloop single out to left center for Jonathan Daza. Makes it a one-run game. Deep left. Quan. Oh, my goodness, what a play. Holy mackerel, that might be the play of the year. A diving catch on the warning track by Stephen Quan. And the Guardians maintain the lead. Right field, well tagged. Grichik on the move. He won't get there. In the corner, and a man has speed to burn. He's on his way to third. He'll go in standing with a triple. And that is his third hit of the night. Oh, how do you like that for excitement? He burned him. He was pulling the ball all night long. And now he comes out and watch this guy run. Let's see if Oscar can pick him up. He will. Right field over near the line. Grichik makes the catch. Rosario comes home to score. It's 7-5 Cleveland. And that's Gonzalez's seventh RBI. Yeah, perfect timing. That ball, a bullet to center field on a 100-mile-an-hour fastball. Good start for the Rockies in the bottom of the ninth. Connor Joe. Popped him up. It's playable. Here comes Ernie Clement. One away. Right back to Classe. There's one. Book it. Oh, they do it again for the second night in a row. They end the game by turning a double play. What a finish tonight for Cleveland as they defeat Colorado 7-5.